The world of cellular antenna installation is always changing. Once upon a time, it was simply hanging an antenna with a single feed line on a tower. Today, we're hanging fiber trunk cables, RRUs with backpacks, and hex port antennas on all kinds of structures. But even with today's technology, getting signals to phones used indoors from towers built outdoors isn't exactly a slam dunk. Not only that, large crowds at an event can overpower the local system. Situations like these are now being covered by distributed antenna systems, or DAS. And the number of DAS is growing every day. DAS systems use repeaters to amplify the carrier's signals and send them inside buildings or into crowded venues using antennas distributed throughout the building. So who's using DAS? Stadiums, hospitals, convention centers, universities, upscale hotels, and the list goes on. Take this place, for example, the brand new U.S. Bank Stadium in downtown Minneapolis. Imagine sitting here with 66,000 other fans wanting to post selfies on Instagram, tweet live updates from the game, or brag to their friends on Facebook. That's a lot of data going down, and DAS makes it all possible. So what exactly makes up a DAS? Well, first of all, antennas, and lots of them. They come in many shapes and sizes and are strategically mounted in zones throughout the stadium. Zones are like the sectors on a cell tower, except there are a lot more than three of them in here. Then you have the head end, and it's state of the art. Every cellular carrier has their own equipment in here because the stadium has a neutral host DAS, which means one shared antenna system used by all the carriers. The head end connects the outside world with fiber, and between the head end and the antennas is an incredible network of hybrid cables, RF cables, splitters, combiners, diplexers, attenuators, and amplifiers all working together to get that selfie out to your friends. Not only that, but there is a public safety spectrum included in the system, meaning police and first responders can communicate with their radios through the DAS. The skills needed for installation of DAS are similar to the skills you use to install antenna systems on towers. Everything from mechanical and fiber to coax and connectors. And system testing is very similar too, but you're keeping track of test results that can number into the thousands. With the sheer volume of DAS sites, this represents a huge opportunity for people like you. It's not just about towers anymore. The more people rely on wireless networks to get through their day, the more we need distributed antenna systems. And the more we need distributed antenna systems, the more we need you. Stay safe, my friends.